what I'll be doing is sharing a technique for using Kent Art's decoupage varnish and glue. And we're gonna create some beautiful little cosmetic bags. For this project, you will need the Pentart Textile Decoupage Varnish and Glue, some little canvas bags, have some thicker cardboard cut to the size of the interior of the bags. You'll need some brushes, a little bit of water, and an assortment of decoupage papers. Let's prep the bags. I have cut a piece of heavier cardstock to fit the inside dimension of my bag. I've saved the little cello packet and I'm gonna slip that cardboard in there and then put that inside our canvas pouch. This is going to give us a sturdy surface on which to decoupage and the little plastic wrap here is going to prevent anything from leaking through and sticking to that cardboard or to the reverse side. We wanna start by adding a layer of decoupage medium to the exterior of the canvas. And I wanna coat that completely and then let it dry. I'll be using both three-ply napkins and rice papers for this project. To use a three-ply napkin, we need to separate to it. To remove the top ply. Then we'll apply another layer of the decoupage varnish and glue over the canvas bag. And then press the napkin onto the wet surface very gently pressing it into the glue. Once this top layer of tissue becomes wet, it's very fragile. So you do have to be careful that you don't tear it. I'll wait for this to dry before I remove the edges and put an additional finish over it. After the napkin has dried onto the surface, we can very gently remove the excess. If you need to, you can wet those edges with just a little bit of water so that they release a little easier. I like to allow one side to dry completely before I do the opposite side. And I'll carefully remove any excess that's hanging over the edges. Glue these edges in place, allow the edges to dry, and then flip it over to do the opposite side. When your piece is completely dry, apply another coat of the decoupage medium over the top of the entire canvas bag. When using rice papers, I will tear the rice paper to fit each side of the bag and then apply the medium in the same way that I did with the previous bag. I have pressed the paper into the decoupage medium and now I will apply another coat of medium right over the top of this while it's still wet. 
I'm able to do that with the rice papers because they are a little thicker than the napkin. Decoupage varnishing glue for textiles works as a finish also. And when this is dry, it's going to give it a very um, durable, almost leather-like finish. So I am just going around all of my edges and making sure that I have a generous amount of medium under those edges so that the edges all adhere completely. Once the decoupage papers have dried, I'm going to check all of the edges and look for any areas that may need to be touched up with the varnish and glue and apply an additional coat over the entire piece. Pentart decoupage varnish and glue for textiles creates a wonderful finish that is flexible, leather-like, resists moisture and can be easily cleaned up with a damp cloth. You can also use the Pentart decoupage varnish and glue to decoupage rice papers or napkins on sneakers, on a canvas tote bag, and even on your favorite pair of jeans.